on. Oh, these are nice. So all of the new team packs are out for the CDL, the Call of Duty League or whatever the fuck it's called. I haven't paid much attention to competitive Call of Duty in years. The time where I was most into competitive Call of Duty was probably during Black Ops 2. I actually watched like every fucking event and shit and it was just, it was so hype. Black Ops 2 was probably like really the peak of a lot of this shit and I just spilled some of this. At least for me anyway, I don't know any actual numbers or viewership and shit like that, but uh, yeah, apparently they moved that all over to, uh, what was it? YouTube instead of Twitch. It's Call of Duty on Twitch really just does not get a lot of traction. So, you know, whenever they have the hyped announcement and everything all the other streamers and all these people end up popping on or whatever and obviously all the pros and shit like that are still streaming and whatever but usually the viewership just isn't very high on it and uh yesterday i think they had like what was it 90,000 85,000 views or some shit like that which is pretty good uh, better than some of the other numbers i've seen on the uh you know on twitch so the move over there makes sense they've been trying to get call of duty to work on twitch for i don't know how long so even i don't watch any streamers or streams or anything like that over on youtube unless i'm like buying a ufc or some shit like that sometimes i'll do that Ooh, that velocity though. I think velocity is the way to go. I've been messing around with a whole bunch of different attachments on this uh, crossbow trying to get it Damascus and shit and I think bolt velocity is definitely the way to go. Some people are running around with like the crazy aim down sight speed with low velocity bolts and it's just about like 15, 20 meters or so. It's really, really bad and inaccurate. It's inaccurate. You get all the hit markers with it and shit like that. Especially if you go and put on like explosive tips, anything that starts lowering that velocity, it's, it's bad, man. I always felt like this thing would be decent when I thought about them adding the crossbow to the game when they announced it before. And I thought that the bolt wouldn't really have that crazy of like a travel time or anything like that. But on this game, yeah, no. Imagine getting shot in the head with a crossbow. I think I'd rather get shot with a bullet, to be honest. Having an arrow go clean through your skull and your brain flying out of your ear. I'm getting really, really annoyed at the amount of people using that carbine. I think they actually buffed it recently. Something about its collateral damage or some shit like that. I don't know. I think they did something to the carbine on top of the fact that everyone's just trying to do the challenges with the carbine. So the carbine is just everywhere. Enemy has Charlie. Yo! All right, these guys are sweating. Hold on, I'm about to win our team the game. We'll see. Headshot multiplier, baby. This is a crossbow setup that I've been messing around with, especially in that game anyway. I got the 200 pound thunder arms thing. 200 pound draw for it, so it's just got crazy uh, bolt velocity when you fire it. Whenever I bring that up, it's like bullet travel, but like way slower. There's like a lot of little situations where if you peek somewhere and there's some distance between you and them, obviously the bullets are gonna make it there before your bolt. You will have less time to be able to actually move and dodge anything. You can actually see or at least when you know that they're using a crossbow, you can just really strafe back and forth and just, you know, they'll, they'll miss everything. Seriously, they will. You can obviously try to lead their shot and stuff like that, but leading your shot on a moving target is way harder than just prediction. So you would think that they're the exact same thing, but I'm telling you, it's just, it's a different level of slow. You really want as much bolt velocity as possible, in my opinion. Not even bolt accuracy, just go velocity, fuck the accuracy. It doesn't really matter. It's not that inaccurate when you're firing it anyway. So get the 28 strand cable, the 200 pound draw on it and then everything else you just make it faster so you got all the velocity you need i'm pretty sure those are the only ones that actually give a plus to velocity anyway i have made a version of it with a bunch of aim down sight speed with a sniper scope on it you take the cables off replace the arms with the 100 pound draw keep the speed grip and put the sniper scope on and uh it scopes in pretty decently fast if you want to run around and try to snipe with it anyway but your velocity is incredibly low and so if there's like any more than 15 meters or so away it's it's like impossible to hit people but i had an idea here here we have the explosive tip bolts carbon bolts with timed explosive tips sticky tips deal less damage but devastate targets on detonation so you get more hit markers more often than not with this uh the whole thing unless you're shooting them in the chest and it'll kill them their body will fly backwards and the shit will explode it looks pretty cool uh, but a lot of the time you end up shooting people it sticks in them it takes about a second and a half for the tips to explode maybe two seconds and uh yeah you're dead by that point because you've hit marked them and then they just 
spray you down and kill you. Now you got the backburn bolts. These deal the same amount of damage as a regular one on impact, but you have a thermite tip. And it basically just burns them. You can fire it at vehicles and stuff. It does a good job. Thermite tips are just kind of there. They're decent. I think that I would use it for ground war for whatever reason I was using this, but other than that, there's one that I haven't noticed many people talking about or even using or whenever I've come across people. I haven't seen this very often. FTAC Venom 20 inch bolts. Bolts with high pressure tear gas cartridges that detonate on impact with flesh. So I'm going to take this speed grip off because you cannot give up sleight of hand. It's just not, no. And we're going to put on this tear gas cartridge here. Last night I got all the kills for this thing. Uh, all the headshots, almost all the crouches, all of the single shots, all of the no attachments, all of the all attachments. Uh, now all I really need to do is get double kills and mounted and long shots. Now mounted and long shots are literally, it's going to be the hardest thing to do. I really should, in order to do that challenge, probably soup this thing up to be like a sniper instead, but I'm going to use this. I'm going to run around with this, with the, uh, the gas grenade tip thingies and just kind of see how it is. I hope it doesn't fucking stink. All right, sorry. I, I have to put a stink pun in here somewhere. If it's not in the title, it's in the video somewhere at least. It's gonna be named something along the lines of this crossbow stinks or using tear gas for my tears IRL or something. Basically just sat and shoot the ship and just went negative basically the entire night. I mean, honestly, it's just... Uh, it's just not fast enough. I have sleight of hand on this shit, and it's just not... It doesn't do anything. Right, so the aim down sight speed is still okay. I mean, really, a lot of the time, since I'm not going to be quick scoping like that... <laughs> what? Okay, so they can't even walk in that area anymore. That's kind of obnoxious. Wait, it's using, like, whole tear gas things. Like, it's a big explosion, though. Look at that. It's a good thing they made it detonate on impact with flesh, like with players, because then they can't go around that corner anymore. No, if they come around a corner and you kill one of them when they're in a whole group, the entire group of them gets stuck. That's kind of broken and really obnoxious. I mean, it is noxious gas, but, uh, you know. Oh, man, I hate myself. Him in the head. What the fuck? I, 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 I know what you're thinking. A lot of people would be like, well, if I had it, I would probably be using explosive tips. Explosive tips work incredibly. You would think anyway, but the explosive tips are basically grenade explosives, but even smaller. It's just, it's not really good. It doesn't really do much AOE damage. And I mean, I imagine why it doesn't, but still, they basically have to be right on top of each other for that explosive tip to make any difference. And you just get a bunch of hit markers otherwise. You know, I really don't feel that bad considering all these people are just using that carbine. Given I'm pretty sure that carbine is like one of my highest kill weapons that I have on my entire thing, but I really just need to spend multiple weeks just using an AX-50. That's what I need to do, but now I'm doing this to myself and I, I don't really know why, but I really want a Damascus crossbow. The issue with using this gas thing is that it's less and less effective the bigger the map gets. If it's a small map, it's just obnoxious, annoying. Oh, face adapt is in the game. I wonder if that's him. So 14 more crouch kill. Definitely need more mounting kills. I really, I'm going to spend the entire night crouching and mounting and bullshit. It's going to be so annoying. I don't know how I'm going to get the long shots. It's going to be terrible. Yeah, by the way, thank you to all the people that um, were making comments and shit about my curly hair. I'm just, I'm like, I'm basically just moisturizing the shit and waking up and making sure that it's not completely lopsided. And this is what we got, so... See, I'm pretty sure I hit him with the gas, right? Yeah, he got hit with the gas. Oh, but it doesn't stun him that long. Okay, so maybe it's not as strong as the other shit, though. I'm trying! The fact that you can affect yourself with the gas is just... Okay. Yeah, that's really fucking annoying. I'm trying to find any redeeming quality about this fucking piece of shit crossbow, and I'm just... I'm dumbfounded that they even put this shit in the game. Be honest it's super annoying because under my completionist challenges i just have this thing this little block sitting here until i complete it so it's just oh hey by the way i do see you guys at all the requests for request shit and I, I went back and watched some uh videos from like 2018 request videos like pretty much the latest ones that i've done like i don't even remember half of the shit that i said like I, it sounds terrible to sit there and say that i laughed at my own jokes but i literally don't remember 
half of my videos after I'm done making them. Especially these Requeese ones. So I'm, I'm hearing shit that I, I'm surprised my brain even thought of that shit. I, I would just usually throw these things out there. I didn't recite anything. I didn't uh, write shit down or whatever. It was just off the dope. But yeah, if you want to try to get good with this crossbow for one reason or another and torture yourself, uh, yeah, that's, you know, the class setup that I got going with it. Uh, I usually take the bolt off, put the faster speed grip on there. Uh, and just, you know, kill people that way. We'll never take off sleight of hand. It's absolutely needed. I will change everything else before sleight of hand. It's too slow otherwise. It is so slow. Let me put this into perspective. It is so slow that it's actually not possible to get a double kill with it when you have no sleight of hand. This game, you can't get a double kill with it. So you need sleight of hand. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for all the support and all the love on all the videos recently. It means a lot. And uh, yeah, it's been Jeff, guys. Later.